The hospitality industry is one of the many franchises that American history is built upon. I'm talking about hotels, inns, motels, and the like. There are a variety of these establishments in the present age, but what separates some of them from the rest is their very rich history that goes back a couple of decades. Welcome back to the America's Trip Down Memory Lane channel. In this video, we will be looking at the story behind the Holiday Inn. There are many mega hotels in our current time, but a bunch of these hotels didn't just start from where they are now. It took many years for them to develop themselves from where they started to where they are now. Most people would call that their origin story, and the Holiday Inn is one of those hotels with an origin story that goes back a few years. The Holiday Inn is an American chain of hotels originating from Atlanta, Georgia, and a brand of IHG hotels and resorts. However, while this might be the fanciest hotel you might have seen in a while, it didn't always look like this. There was a time in this hotel's history that it wasn't all that fancy. It was created as a US motel chain, but has grown to become one of the world's largest hotel chains, having 1,173 active hotels and more than 214,000 rental rooms as of September 30th, 2018. The history of the Holiday Inn started with a man named Kemmons Wilson. Kemmons lived in Memphis, Tennessee, and like most Americans, decided to go on a road trip with his family to Washington, DC. Unfortunately, things didn't go so well on their trip, and this bad travel experience served as his inspiration to build a motel, especially after he was disappointed by the terrible quality of roadside accommodations during the family road trip. Construction started soon after, and while the construction was ongoing, the name Holiday Inn was devised by Kemmons architect Eddie Bluestein, who said it as a joke, referring to the 1942 musical film Holiday Inn. Constructions were completed soon enough, and the first hotel motel was launched in August 1952 with the name Holiday Inn Hotel Courts, located at 4941 Summer Avenue in Memphis, Tennessee, which was at the main highway to Nashville then. It was demolished in 1994. Kemmons decided that this could be the start of a very profitable business, so he partnered with Wallace E. Johnson to construct more motels on the roads leading into Memphis. This was quickly achieved and by 1953, three new Holiday Inns had been constructed on Highway 51 South, Highway 51 North, and Highway 61. This marked the beginning of what was going to be the new age of a hospitality-based establishment that was quite standard. Kamens Wilson and his partner Wallace kept working hard and turning this small-time establishment into a major institution, and in about four years, 30 new Holiday Inns were created. With all this success, Kemmons began marketing his motel chain as the Holiday Inn of America. With both partners, resilience and outstanding work ethic, the Holiday Inn had about 15 locations across the United States by 1958, 100 locations by 1959, 500 locations by 1964, and about 1,000 Holiday Inns in 1968. Business was going great for the partners, which meant there would be a few improvements to move the business further. In 1965, the motel chain started a centralized reservation system called Holodex, where visitors to any Holiday Inn branch could get reservations, mainly by teleprinter, for any other Holiday Inn location in the country. The Holiday Inn promotes itself as your host from coast to coast, and even added a call center after AT&T launched the 800 toll-free telephone number service in 1967. They also updated their systems as desktop microcomputers became increasingly relevant in travel agencies. Soon enough, the Holiday Inn hotel chain got branded as the nation's innkeeper, and they put considerable financial pressure on conventional motels and hotels as they began to set the standard for competitors like Howard Johnson's Quality Inn, Ramada Inn, and Best Western. In June 1972, the Holiday Inn had over 1,400 branches worldwide, and as a result, Kemmons Wilson was featured on the cover of Time magazine, which caused the franchise's motto to become the world's innkeeper. In 1971, the Holiday Inn created the Holiday Inn University and Conference Center, a teaching hotel for training new staff in Olive Branch, Mississippi. Two years later, the company constructed the Olive Branch Airport north of the university to serve as a home base for its corporate aircraft. The Holiday Inn later diversified into other business enterprises such as the Delta Queen, Continental Trailways, MediCenter, Nursing Homes, and Showbiz Inc., a TV production company that specialized in syndicated country music shows. Kamens Wilson also introduced the Orange Lake Resort and Country Club near Orlando, and the chain is known as Wilson World Hotels, and the company sold Trailways in 1979. 
as the years went by, things began to change, not necessarily in a good way. Although the Holiday Inn was still a healthy company, the change in business conditions and demographics saw the hotel chain lose its market dominance in the 1980s. Holiday Inns Inc. was renamed Holiday Corporation in 1985 to match the growth of the company's brands, which included Harrah's Entertainment, Embassy Suite Hotels, Crown Plaza, Homewood Suites, and Hampton Inn. In 1988, the Holiday Corporation was acquired by UK-based Base PLC and followed by the remaining local Holiday Inn hotels in 1990 when the founder, Kimans Wilson, sold his interest in the company, after which the hotel group became known as a Holiday Inn Worldwide. What was left of the Holiday Corporation, including the Embassy Suites, Hotels, Homewood Suites, and Hampton Inn brands, was sold off to shareholders as Promus Companies Incorporated. By 1990, Base PLC launched a complementary brand in the limited service segment called the Holiday Inn Express. In 1997, Base PLC unveiled a new hotel brand, Staybridge Suites by Holiday Inn, as they entered the North American upscale extended stay market. By March 1998, Bayes PLC had acquired the intercontinental brand as it expanded into the luxury hotel market. The year 2000 brought about even more changes to Bayes PLC as they sold their brewing assets and the rights to the base name, changing their name to Six Continents PLC. This gave rise to the birth of two daughter companies, Intercontinental Hotels Group and Mitchells & Butler's PLC created in 2003. Mitchells & Butler's PLC was created to handle restaurant assets, while Intercontinental Hotels Group was created to focus on soft drinks and hotels, including the Holiday Inn brand. However, things didn't remain the same for very long, and the brand name Holiday Inn is currently owned by Intercontinental Hotel Group, which in turn licensed the brand name to franchisees and third parties who operate hotels under management agreements. This gave rise to a bunch of hotels and establishments that wanted to enjoy the fame that came with the name but not everyone could pull it off. In 2002, the Wall Street Journal reported that the company led by Ravi Saligram was constructing a new 130-room, next-generation prototype hotel in the hopes of rebuilding the brand. It would include a bistro-like restaurant and an indoor pool, amongst many other amenities. It didn't take very long, and the very first of these prototype hotels, the Holiday Inn Gwinnett Center, was constructed in Duluth, Georgia in 2003. By 2008, Mitchells & Butler's PLC had sold off 21 Holiday Inn hotels to get 44 standalone pubs in Whitbread. However, things took a different turn on October 24, 2007, when Intercontinental Hotels Group announced a worldwide relaunch of the Holiday Inn brand, which seemed like trouble for the remaining motels. This relaunch was focused on delivering consistently best-in-class service and physical quality levels, including a redesigned welcome experience and signature bedding and bathroom products. The first relaunched hotel opened in the United States in the spring of 2008, and now there are over 2,500 relaunched Holiday Inn brand hotels worldwide, and the Holiday Inn global brand relaunch process reached completion by the end of 2010. At that time, most of the Holiday Inn's motels were removed from that chain with a few exceptions. When the relaunch occurred, these motels were either closed off or demolished, even if a full-service hotel was already on site. Today, less than 10 original Holiday Inn motels are still functional, and others have been replaced by newer Holiday Inn Express locations, or have been switched to other chains. As of 2014, Kemmons Wilson's family still operates hotels as part of the Kemmons Wilson Companies of Memphis. It goes without saying, but the Holiday Inn hotel chain was a pretty great idea that had lasted decades and could possibly last even more years. Thank you for watching this video. Hit us up in the comments section and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.